All right. Well, we're back again. A little bit more diesel discussion. I do appreciate everyone who watched my last couple of videos and commented, especially the commenters, because I think that's where this came from. Um, I have an idea about what might have happened to these trucks to cause Cummins to receive a $1.7 billion fine and to not admit what happened. In the comments, there was some discussion about what happens when the dog knocks over stuff. Anyway, comments. There was some discussion about what happens when DEF runs out. And as it happens, I did a video on that several years ago with my truck because I was wondering, you know, what happens? Um, so I drove it around, drove it around, drove it around, finally got to the 200 miles to go and the 20 miles to go and all of that, and uh, finally hit zero. And it said speed restricted. But interestingly, it, uh, it didn't restrict the speed immediately. It allowed me to get home driving normally. <clears throat> and I did. And everything was fine. And, uh, you know, everything was good. You know, no issues. I got home, even though it said speed was restricted. And then I shut the truck off. And when I restarted it, the speed was restricted. No throttle response. And then I poured two and a half gallons of DEF in it, and everything went right back to normal. And I didn't think much about it until a couple of comments. I wonder if that piece of software is the problem. You can see that would have been done in good faith, saying, if people run out of def, we don't want them trucking along the highway at 80 miles an hour and all of a sudden throttle response is gone and now they're slowing down with no, you know, without any significant control of their own. Uh, but what it amounted to is if you didn't shut the truck off, you could keep running. So, you know, if you just never shut your truck off, you there's probably no telling how long that thing would go um, before or if it would ever um, cycle into five mile an hour mode with no DEF. I'm wondering if that was it because that to me is a pollution issue based on the EPA regs. If you're able to continuously drive the truck with no DEF being injected into the exhaust, you're increasing your NOx and all that other idiocy. But you could make the argument, and I'm sure that that's what it was, if this, were the, if this was the case, that this is a safety thing. We don't want people just coming down to five miles an hour in traffic. So, now what? They probably don't want to announce that that's possible. I know it is, because my truck did it. Um... Because then everybody knows that they don't ever, if they don't have, you know, they can just run it for, you know, if you're going on a, you know, you run out of DEF with 25 gallons left in your main tank, you know, rock and roll. You don't, you, as long as you don't shut the truck off, keep driving. And I'm pretty sure the EPA doesn't want that. They want you to put the DEF back in it. So I'm wondering if now that my truck's been repopped uh, and seemingly is unaffected, that I can tell again. Drove it today. Everything's fine. Um, if the next time I run it out of DEF, which I am going to do, if it will immediately go to limp mode while driving at normal speed. And if that is the case, that's the change. I have no idea. I'm Again, no tinfoil today. But uh, I had anyway. Uh, I don't know. If that's the case, I'm going to find out if that's the case. But if that truck acts differently, if it goes to, you know, five miles, two miles, one mile, you're out, five miles an hour, and immediately slows down, that's the change. Because it didn't used to do that. And I could see where that could be a problem for the feds. And I can also see where Cummins 
would be able to argue this was a safety thing we did because we didn't want people stuck in traffic. So if that's the case, then your government just wants your car to die while you're cruising along at 80 miles an hour on the highway. And that's perfectly fine <laughs> if that's the case. You know, maybe it's that simple. I don't know. But I could also see why they wouldn't want to uh, describe that explicitly, because I don't recall reading that in any of the diesel supplements. I don't recall reading it anywhere. It just said, you know, once you hit the zero, your speed's going to be restricted. But as far as my truck was concerned, it did not speed restrict until after a key cycle. Um, so that's all I got right now. Anyway, I uh, hope you're all having a good day. Keep, keep commenting. I love reading them. Uh, there's been some funny stuff. And I'm um, debating on making a video on some of the funnier ones because uh, I'm not sure if everybody saw all of them. I'm trying to pin some of the better ones. But uh, anyway, I appreciate y'all. Keep making the smoke. <laughs> Talk to y'all later.